Alex. Hi. Guess what I have here? I have Ooh. two letters that state that tomorrow is serious day. Ooh. This one that I signed, did you see the smiley face? It even I has see. a smiley face. It's on so it. pretty. Right? And then there's this one that was signed by the school principal. Which one of these two letters would you believe? Um, definitely one, the one signed by the school principal. But mine has a smiley face, Alex. Why? why? But this letter here says it's signed by the principal. He's the one in charge of the whole school. And you bringing this letter to me means that you are speaking on behalf of the principal. And he's the one who has the authority to give us a civvies day. So I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather pick this letter. Exactly. This is the same as when we pray in Jesus' name because we speak on his behalf. And this shows that we, we have faith in his power to do the impossible and that he can change all our situations. We don't have to dress fancy or act smart when we pray in Jesus' name. All we have to do is believe in our hearts that Jesus does have the power to do all of this and everybody will see just how great he is. That's like in Acts chapter 3. Where, where John and Peter see the lame man and they say to him, in Jesus' name, get up and walk. And the lame man, he was healed. This wasn't anything that John or Peter did. This is because they prayed in the power of Jesus. And Jesus is the one who has the power to heal. Just like John and Peter, we can also do this. We can also pray in Jesus' name when we feel sick when we feel scared or lonely or even when we want to go tell people about Jesus when we pray in Jesus name we will remember that actually there is so much power and strength behind his name walking and praising the Lord I know that the name of Jesus has power and so when the layman reached out for us for help we prayed in the name of Jesus and he was healed that's another reason to love Jesus because he's a name, he has power.